Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On and we're here at the Gears Inc event in London for the launch of Gears 5. And if you've got an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you can play it right now. We're going to be focusing on one of the game's biggest additions to the Gears formula, Heroes. Yeah! Rest in pieces. These are unique characters that you might recognize from Gears history and a few other places. They come equipped to their own abilities and loadouts, but can be customized in a few ways, from cosmetic skins to upgradable perks and skill cards that will allow you to make the hero fit your specific playstyle. At launch, there are 12 heroes available, nine for Horde mode and three for the brand new Escape mode. So strap in for our guide to who they all are and how you can unlock them all. I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Kate Diaz is the lead character from the Gears 5 campaign. She's got her own limited edition controller and all. The game story is all about exploring her origins, which mysteriously link her to the Locust. But all you really need to know about Kate is she's a survivor, and that's reflected in her horde abilities. Kate is the only Scout class character currently in the game, and her ultimate ability lets her activate her thermal optic camouflage, which works even when she pulls off an execution. That means she can sneak up on an enemy, stab them in the back, and still stay hidden. Pretty handy, huh? Stay down! Next up, we've got the character who puts the OG in COG. Marcus Phoenix. Since the very first Gears of War, Marcus has been played by the legendary voice actor John DiMaggio, who you may know as Bender in Futurama, Jake the Dog from Adventure Time, or a thousand other cartoons, and this game is no exception. After three games of shooting and chainsawing his way through the Locust Army, Marcus retired. But just when he thought he was out, Gears 4 pulled him back in. In short, Marcus is a living legend, which, appropriately enough, is also the name of his ultimate ability. When triggered, Marcus shoots guaranteed headshots and inspires nearby teammates to do the same if they're in cover. Next up, we've got Marcus's son, JD Phoenix. That's James Dominic Phoenix if you want to be formal because he's named after his dad's BFF from the original trilogy, the sadly departed Dominic Santiago. JD has risen to the rank of officer and in Horde mode, that means he gets access to the very best toys the COG armories have to offer. His ultimate lets you mark a target and call in an airstrike, delivering some death from above on your swarm foes. And as an offense class character, he also gets an ammo pickup from every sixth critical hit kill to make sure his weapons never run dry. Hey, Faz, how's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. Faz is a new addition to the cast of Gears 5, voiced by Rahul Kohli, who you might recognize from iZombie and Supergirl on TV. Faz is a marksman, all about picking his targets carefully and taking them out with pinpoint accuracy. As you might expect, his default loadout includes a marksman rifle and Boltok revolver. But his ultimate ability takes it to the next level. Called X-Ray, it lets you temporarily see and shoot through walls and other obstacles. The swarm can run, but they can't hide from Faz, and that ultimate also pairs perfectly with Marcus's living legend. The Returning from Gears 4, Dell is the squad's engineer. That means he's the best at building defenses like turrets and barriers. But for Dell, these fortifications cost less power to produce at the fabricator, and he can carry them to the perimeter quicker than any other character. Dell's default loadout equips him with a repair tool, meaning he can fix any defensive fortifications that are broken down, and his ultimate ability summons two DB tracker bots, which target enemies and eventually explode. The final hero returning from the previous Gears games is Jack. That's right, the robot who used to open doors for Marcus & Co. in the original trilogy. He's no longer satisfied with playing sidekick though, and is now a playable character in both campaign, co-op, and horde. Jack's role on the team is very much support. He can heal teammates, pick up weapons, and repair fortifications. He doesn't have the powerful weapons, but he can zap an enemy to freeze them in place, so an ally can pick them off with ease. Oh, and then there's Hijack, his ultimate ability. 
This lets you take control of almost any foe and turn their firepower to your advantage. Playing as Jack will completely change the way you approach Gears as he's definitely a support character and because he can fly around the map, he can get around quicker than anyone else. And also, to save him from being immediately shot out of the sky, Jack has a handy cloak which hides him from enemies. Jack has also been designed as an access point for newer players, which will be really important with the new audience that Xbox Game Pass is bringing to Gears. But really, who wouldn't want to play as a friendly flying robot? Okay, there is one person who's not so keen on robots, and that's Sarah Connor from the Terminator movies. And she's the first of Gears 5's bonus characters. As befits her badass role in James Cameron's action classics, Sarah's role is a tank. She's able to take a licking and not only keep on ticking, but also powering up her ultimate in the process. And her ultimate is recharged by taking damage. Once it's ready to fire, the ult causes Sarah's ballistic weapons to stun and knock back enemies, just like her shotgun showdown with a T-1000 in Terminator 2. So naturally, the main weapon in her loadout is the Nasher shotgun. And if all that wasn't cool enough, she's even voiced by the original actor, Linda Hamilton. Sarah Connor is the first hero who requires a special action to unlock. She's available for anyone who pre-ordered the game or starts it before the 16th of September. So all you need to do is get playing. And as part of the same pack, you'll get a few other goodies, including a T-800 Terminator character you can use when playing as a swarm in versus multiplayer. This isn't the only crossover Gears 5 has up its sleeve. Kat is the first of two Spartans from Halo Reach joining the COG ranks. She might be stepping in from a different universe, but Kat has already figured out how to make the fabricator work more efficiently, meaning she gets a discount on building fortifications. Her ultimate ability is lifted straight out of Halo Reach, a hologram decoy that can distract enemies, giving Kat a window she can take advantage of with her hefty M-Bar railgun. They'll be back. Get ready while you can. She's also joined by her noble team squad mate, Emil. Emil is a more straightforward defense class character, a bit of an all-rounder equipped with a marksman rifle, a shotgun, and an auto pistol. And of course, his signature knife. Emil's ultimate ability is another fondly remembered favorite from the Halo Reach multiplayer, the Drop Shield, a dome of energy that can protect you and your allies. The original voice actors have also returned to play Emil and Kat, and both heroes are both available in the Halo Reach character pack. That's included for anyone who buys the Gears 5 Ultimate Edition or subscribes to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Not too much of a reach then. Let's get this done. Meanwhile, the new escape mode introduces Team Scorpio, a team of three brand new characters known as Hive Busters. Starting with Lani, the team scout. Described as an adrenaline junkie, she's perfect for any player who wants to rush ahead and take the fight to the enemy. Lani's executions have a chance of dropping extra ammo, and her ultimate ability equips her with a supercharged electro blade, which shocks and stuns enemies. With escape mode putting you on a constant timer, Lani is a great way of clearing the battlefield so your squad mates can advance. Anger is my shield. Next up in the role of tank, we've got Leslie McAllister, or Mac. Having grown up as an outsider to the Cog Cities, Mac is on the team for one reason only, revenge. Like other tank characters, taking damage recharges Mac's ultimate ability, Barrier, an invulnerable energy shield that moves with him, protecting Mac and, if you're smart about it, his teammates too. As you play escape and earn skill cards, the shield can be upgraded to become a way of turning the tide of battle. Nobody said this would be pretty. Finally, every team needs its grizzled veteran, and Team Scorpions is Jeremiah Keegan, a soldier from the original Locust War seeking redemption. Keegan acts as the squad's father figure, and like a dad at a school football game, he's constantly shouting instructions, marking major threats for the Hive Busters to take down, and you'll want to do as he says because Killing those marked targets is how Keegan charges his ultimate ability. Once it's ready to go, Keegan can trigger an ammo resupply, topping up the team's exceedingly limited supplies. Just call him Father Gearsmas. 
So those are our 12 starting heroes. But that's not all. Dave Batista, the WWE wrestler and Guardians of the Galaxy actor, is also going to be available to play as in Gears 5. The Batista character skin will be playable across Versus, Horde and Escape and Big Dave has recorded more than 700 lines for the game. Batista has already said that playing Marcus Phoenix in the Gears of War movie would be a dream role, so to quote the man himself, it's about damn time. Or nearly time anyway. You'll be able to grab Batista's character skin for Marcus Phoenix for free just by playing between the 15th of September and the 28th of October. And we can expect many more surprises like this in the future as developers, the Coalition, will continue to release more heroes post-launch, each with their own unique playstyles. So make sure to let us know who you're going to be playing as down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you next time. Bye.